Hey, we are back, your team here at Parker Nixon with a review, an overview of Freckle by Renaissance, the Freckle app. It's a web-based app as well as here I'm showing the iPad, the iOS version of the app. It is known it has adaptive math practice as well as language arts practice. So let's go ahead and take a look today and start here at the home menu, the overview, you can see on the left, um, it shows my little avatar. The store is closed right now. Once I practice a little bit more, I can open up the store to add different outfits and change how my avatar looks. In the middle here of the screen, it has my, uh, I set my weekly goal, which I set earlier on, and it shows my uh, practice towards that goal. And if I reach the goal, I get quite a bit of extra coins. Then it shows the backpack. I'll click on the backpack. That's if you if the teacher assigned any particular assignments. Here there are none, but if there were any assigned, it would show up here and I could do those first before I browse and do my own uh, self-selected practice. It would show any uh, previous assignments that have been completed and the scores on those. And then on the far right, um, this is the leaderboard, which I don't think shows by default for teachers, but they can set that up if they want that to be a motivating factor in their classroom to have students compete to get the most coins um, on Freckle. And then right above there shows how many minutes I have spent today, 13 minutes of practice. My total number of coins are above that of 1,052. And then, uh, yeah, just has the, the top menu bar as well for math and English. So for practice, here in the middle, I can go to practice and I can choose math or English. So if I go to math, this will show me the different domains, math domains, and I've started a couple of them where I already have levels. Uh, fractions, I'm on level three, and a base 10, I'm on level 22. I haven't started these other domains, um, but if I wanna start them, if I wanna start like geometry, it would give me a like a pretest or to level me to find out where, where what level I'm at. So let me exit that one go back to the, the math. So the ones I've done, I'll go to base 10. You can see what I'm working on flu uh, fluently adding and subtracting. And you can see the domains that I skipped over that I've completed. These green ones are ones that I I just, I leveled out of on my initial test. And the ones that are in blue are ones that I've mastered through working through Freckle. And then these are ones that I have not yet got to yet. So you can see the content that is coming up. And I think the ideas and the goal is that you get, you get adaptive practice. So no matter where a student's at, they're advanced, they're struggling, they're at a grade level, they can work and learn at their own pace. Same with fractions. I started here at the very beginning. I've worked through a couple of levels and I can work at my own pace up through these levels. And whenever you do adaptive practice, I'll open it up and press continue. They always give you 10 questions and they all look like this, this interface. Um, different types of questions. Um, you can click the speaker and have it read to you. Select all the true statements. A, the number line is broken into five equal parts. B, point B is equal to one fifth C. Point B is equal to one sixth. So let's click on that. It will show me if I got it correct, so I get instant feedback. Let's go to one more. Now here, let me answer it incorrectly on purpose. And see, uh, I'll click D. So it will let me know, and it will uh, give me a hint. So I can try again. And uh, there's also a video. I can watch the video and get it some support there. Partition the distance from 0 to 1 on the number line below into four equal parts. What is the length of one part? So that's available, so I can look at it again. And, and then I can, let's see, let's see if I got it wrong again. I will show you. Oh, I get that time I got it right. Okay. I just chose a random one and I got it right. So let me move on here. So... You work through these, um, you work through 10. If you get enough of them correct, you level up. And if not, you may stay at the same level and it'll give you more opportunities to work on those skills. So let me exit here. Back to the home menu. 
So practice, um, you can also go to uh, English, which we won't do yet. But if you go through math here, you can't get the math fact practice. So he goes directly into these uh, the adaptive practice. To get to the math, you have to click on the top toolbar. So here on the very top, it, it says math up here in English and backpack at the very top. I click on that one, it will let me choose a um, fact practice or adaptive math. Adaptive math is what we just I just showed you. The fact practice allows me to practice my, the, the math facts. And this is also adaptive, so the more you do it, it will give you ones that are at your level, but you work through these math facts as fast as you can. And you can do two of these sessions a day. And then you just solve all those. And you can do it twice a day, and it will get adapt and get more challenging and show you the ones you don't know more often. So that's the overview of the math and what it has. And now it also has English domains. So word study, skills practice, and the library. Let's start with word study. Now the first time you do it, it's gonna ask you for, it's gonna give you an assessment so that I already did that and it will put you where it believes you are and so that way you get targeted practice. Hat. Pet. Run. Hat. Pet. So in here, then I'm matching short A, short E, short U. And it'll give me that feedback. What is the vowel in the word? Mask. So type in that. Hat. Luck. Dad. Deck. Bus. So you can hear them all and then choose the correct one. So I won't finish that, but it's, and these are pretty early. I mean, the, the assessment I did, I got them all wrong. So this is very early learning. It gets much more advanced um, based on the level of the student, higher levels. I'll exit here. So you also have English skills practice, nonfiction, fiction, or grammar. So you can work on different skills there. So different grammar skills there. There's a video instruction. Exit. Exit out of here. It also has a library you can browse and have nonfiction or fiction books. Let me give you an example. So you read those and then you can you can have it read to you. Read all of the text first, then answer the questions. Well, I guess, no, you can't. That's just the instruction. So you read it, and then it will give you practice answering questions and, and feedback from there. So that's a kind of a quick overview of Freckle and the different components it has. It's been around for a while, and it's popular amongst teachers and students. I see it being used mostly for math, but also some good language practice as well. And uh, oh, let me go to the, so the store's not yet open yet, but if you get enough coins, you can open the store and use your coins to purchase virtual uh, parts, things for your, um, your avatar. So yeah, check it out, Freckle by Renaissance. It's for teachers and students, it's most of the features are free and the content is available. They do offer a premium one for more for school districts that have more data and reports in the back end, but at least the learning piece of it is available for, for everyone. So check it out, uh, Freckle by Renaissance. Enjoy, and we will see you next time.